now I'm going to test our scene on a good quantity like 6 or minimum subdivision is 2 and maximum subdivision is 6 it will increase your rendering time so use as per your requirement the default value is 1 by 4 so that will be okay if you want to follow that render the rendering setting all right 3080 and 800 all right and zero 05 you can increase the global subdivision if you want some more smoothing rendering or you can increase the minimum sample as well all right and <coughs> i want this one to render render size so i'm going to save the segments just render over here all right i'm using the quad core processor with 16 gb of ram I think it will not take much time. Right. The two passes is from our lower setting and the third one is from our interpolation which we use on our wall material. So keep that in your mind if you're using that setting so there will be another pass in our rendering all right <clears throat> i think i need to shift my window here like the below because there is very dark area and the lighting coming from here only so if I increase the size of the window so I will catch the light on this area as well okay is looking nice there is some noise in our scene we will get more better result in the higher setting all right this flower looking very dead I use this from ever motion but it's okay Actually my mirror is merged in the wall, I'm not able to uh, differentiate from a wall in the mirror, so I will make it correct in post production or you can say in a photoshop, so I will just select the mirror area increasing its curve or decrease as per our requirement there is noise is coming in our scene maybe due to some modeling or lighting error i will figure this out what's happening in our scene right look at the shiny floor wow All right. 
out. Yes. Too much noise. Maybe due to some modeling error. It's burning over here. So I need to check my reflection specular setting in the material slot. So that we uh, we will control this burn out over here. Right. So I'm going to cancel my render. That's enough for me. And what's wrong with our setting? Adaptive DMC 6 exponential low. Our setting is quite correct over here. There is some problem with our scene. This we are getting this moment uh, and reflection and specular. this right and anything over here oh my god it's burning up still over here This is why some more texture.
right? <coughs> it's looking much better than earlier. There is some ambience over here. You can choose the video shadow parts for downgrade the dark spots. Okay. I will go to calls looking fine over here. All right. I'm going to take uh, another higher setting test. First, I need to pull this out from my wall. So, we'll get a difference. Alright, everyone. Now, I will show you my render settings. Actually, i done my test render over here. So you can see there is very less noise, or you can say a little bit. <clears throat> and here is my video setup setting. I choose area filter over here, DMC image samples, minimum two and maximum six. All right. And <clears throat> As per my irrelevance map, I set this to low and hemisphere subdivision is 80 and <coughs> interpolation samples 40. Alright, and here is my light cache, it's, it's still the same 800. I just increase the minimum sample from the DMC sampler and my global subdivision multiplies 1.5 noise threshold and adaptive amount <coughs> okay and I did one adjustment in my light as well let's increase its subdivisions from 8 to 20 okay you can increase or decrease as per your scene requirement or uh, there is some noise uh, if you want uh, noiseless scene so just increase this subdivision samples okay so here is my render you can see that the passes <coughs> it's a global animation Reflection, reflection, shadow map, and the white color. All right. I hope this tutorial will be useful for you. In the next lesson, I will show you how to composite this scene in Adobe Photoshop. So stay tuned with us. Thanks for watching.